What's good, baby? This your boy F. Floors, Flint Flossy, aka Flint Flow Double International. And you already feel me, baby. Um, give me another behind the scenes look. New joint we got coming out for the new project called Why I Gotta Wait. If you know F. Floors, you know I love the ladies. You know what I'm saying? The smell of them, the touch of them, the taste of them, you know, I feel it a gift. You know? But there was one in particular that really rubbed me the wrong way. Quick story. Uh, I was at the supermarket a few years back. This took place a few years ago. I see this one joint, you know, um, beautiful, Model S joint, gorgeous. I seen she had fruits and vegetables in her cart, so I was like, oh, sure, he really take care of herself. You feel me, baby? So I had to wrap it up. I scooped up. All right, fast forward, we speaking on the phone. Everything's going cool, you know, we chatting. I'm like, yo, sure, she's, she's pretty cool, you know? So I get over the crib, cook for her and everything, you know what I mean? We get into it. Then all of a sudden, you know, before it actually goes down, she says, stop. So I'm like, okay, cool. And what's the problem? She's like, she looks at sex as a real special thing, you know, and she doesn't want to do it so fast. And she hasn't had sex since her last boyfriend, which was two years ago. So I'm like, dang, two years? This joint is bad, like two years? Like, so this is fresh out the box. And I'm kind of digging that she kind of cool. So I was like, I'm going to wait. Uh, usually, you know, I'd be running through them, you feel me, baby? But I was like, this one is different. I'm going to try this one a little different, you know? Two months go by. She's coming over. You know, I'm cooking. She's cooking. Sleeping in the same bed. I'm not touching her. That's not even how I roll. It's not that floor, see what I'm saying? But I'm like, I I'm feeling this one. I respect you. Going to the fair, movies, dinners. I even took her to a picnic. I brought her to the studio one day. And, you know, big brother Raheem was like, yo... She look familiar. So I'm like, what you mean she look familiar? So Pretty Raheem was like, yo, well, my man used to smell her. I'm like, you serious? He's like, yeah. So I'm thinking it's her ex-boyfriend from two years ago or something. But he's like, no, this is like the other day. So I'm like, what? He said his man put him on to it. So basically they were both smelling. Everybody plays a fool. Ain't nothing to be ashamed of. You feel me, baby? We all go through it. So I'm like, hold up. She was smelling other dudes. Why she was cuddling with me. I couldn't really get mad because it wasn't my girl. But it's the whole respect issue. You know what I'm saying? She was making me wait while other dudes were smacking. So I was like, cool. I approached her again. I was like, yo, shorty. Should have been down. When was the last time you had sex? She looked at me. It was like two years ago. I told you. I said, okay. She straight lied in my face. Cool. Fast forward. I ended up smacking. And I give her the best smacking of her life. Afterwards, she's like, floors is gray. Whoop -de -whoop, you know what I'm saying? Wada, wada, whatever. I'm like, yo, I know about the dudes. I start naming names. She looked shocked. She was like, I didn't care about them. I didn't care about them. They were nothing to me. It was just sex. I cared about you, Floors. You know what I'm saying? I, I really like you. I think we could build something. I was like, so hold on. At the beginning, you told me that you look at sex as something so special. That's why you wait. And you rather give that specialness to someone you don't care about than someone you do and make me wait, make me look like a sucker. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you played yourself. rock a bye, baby. It was over. You feel me, baby? And she's been calling me since, like, uh, Floors. I really like where you at. Floors. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Trying to come through the smack. Had to end that. So Young Hummer one day came through and told me, like, a similar story. And I was like, yo, I got to do a song about this. So I had to get your girl's favorite pizza boy in the track. The whole idea of why I got to wait is basically it started from a conversation, you know, amongst guys. You know, when, um... You know, normally when you come across a female that you just kind of want to be physical with, you kind of come straight out of the neck. You're more aggressive to it, not as nice. And a lot of times you get a lot of uh, results from that. But the one time or two times or however many times you do it, when you find a lady that you really like and you really want to take your time with, where, it's, where sex isn't the main goal, you know, she sees you and she kind of plays you off to the side. She makes you wait for it. You know what I'm saying? Make you do all this extra stuff, going out on dates, um, you know, talking to her on the phone for a long time, hours, and you still have to wait for the goods. You know, while she's out there on the side with her two and three side pieces, letting them smang and do all sorts of nasty stuff. So we really wanted to come together and make a song to address that thing because nobody ever talks about it, but it's something that happens every day. Women wonder why a lot of us are a-holes or you know what I'm saying they, they wonder why we so mean and, and, and such jerks sometimes because we whenever we are nice guys they don't appreciate it you know what I'm saying don't ask for something if you don't really want it you know a lot of times if a dude is digging you he got no problem with it. but when you up there like giving it to somebody else 
You know what I'm saying? Smacking other dudes and making the one you particularly like wait. They don't show respect for us. Like, we're not, like, flatted. Be true who you are, okay? If you're a freak, if you like doing what you do, if you're promiscuous, be true to who you are. Own up to yourself. You know what I'm saying? You'll get a lot more respect that way. You know, but if you sit up here, if you sitting up here acting like, you know, a porn star to everybody on the block, and you want to come to me and act like you're, you know, Miss Goody Goody, Miss America, Miss, you know what I'm saying? That ain't cool. I know it's not every woman out there, because I made a few joints that, you know, made me look at things different, but yet there's still a lot of women out there that do that. So, if you know a particular situation that's kind of similar, send in a video response. We want you all to get on your cameras, you know, and make a video in response to this conversation. Y'all have voices. We want to hear what y'all got to say. We want to know if, if we're tripping. When you go on YouTube and you post it, we need the subject line to say why I got away, okay? We're going to look at as many of those as we can, and we're going to respond to them, and we're also going to use it for a little special treat that we got for all of our G-Priders out there, okay? You a freak, girl. Yeah. You a freak, and I know. You a freak, girl. Yeah. You a freak, and I know. You a freak, girl. Yeah. You a freak, and I know. And I know. And I know. I got to wait. Trying to make me hubby. Trying to make me hubby. Why I got to wait. Baby, girl, don't love me. Why I got to wait. Baby, girl, don't love me. Why I got to wait. Trying to make me hubby. Why I got to wait. Baby, girl, don't love me. Why I got to wait. Do I look like a dummy? Why I got to wait. Oh, now you acting funny. Ha ha. Her dance. She want me for her man. What? She wanna hold my